Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, dear students, uh, because my father is not well, so I cannot come to college today. Uh, but after Fajr, I'm just making these videos uh, so that uh, the class, you, you will not miss the class. Even though I will not come to college, you'll still not miss a class, inshallah, like we did previously. So this is a very important program uh, because we want to move from 8-bit uh, from to 16-bit. Uh, we were just uh, in, in, in the 8 bit. This is the next step because we were only printing or taking one uh, input. Because in assembly, we can uh, we cannot uh, like we have uh, interrupt 01H or interrupt uh, 02H. I mean, uh, if you have a 02H in the in the AH, it will print you what is in a DL, but a single character. It will print a single whatever that number is, or character is, it's going to print that, okay, and that to the ASCII. Uh, after doing the ASCII adjust, we have to do, you know, uh, ASCII adjust, we already know that. Or if you have a 01H in uh, your AH, and after that, you call the interrupt 20 watch, uh, 1H in both cases, we know that. It's, it's going to take one digit. It's going to take only one digit from the keyboard. So, we need to learn how to get the multiple digits because if at all we have to work with the 16-bit number then we have literally four we can have a four digit number okay because if we have an 8-bit register basically we have 16-bit registers right and if we have a data type which is db db means only eight bits so you have you have got a four and four not this one right so the number uh, which is a single digit will be stored here okay in this in this space in these four bits and msb in the msb of i mean in this uh, 8 bit uh, msb four bits will have the other digit right so if we have say for example we have some number 87 so typically in a, in a, if if it is um, like num1 db 87 so db means only giving you the 8 bits so 8 will be in these 4 bits and 7 will be in these 4 bits so actually it will be like this if we have uh, the 8 that's 1 0 0 0 okay 1 2 4 8 these 4 bits like this and here 7 will be 0 1 1 1 in a binary form basically inside so we want to just print it the first step we do is to print Two digit numbers then we will have a, a program to input two digit numbers maybe we we just just get an uh, two digit number odd number and try uh, two digit number and try to see whether this is odd or even okay for that program so that means we want to just firstly this program is about printing the two digit number this 87 which is like this I just want to print and we have to remember this thing is very simple. First time it looks a little tough, but it's very simple. Once you got it into your brain, it will become all easy. So inshallah, I will make it very easy for you. So, and we have learned the procedures. So by now on, we all do everything in a procedures, right? Main proc and other procedures. We will carry on with that. And you will carry on that in exam as well. So what I'm saying is, if you want to want to print uh, using the interrupt 21H and uh, 02H, it will just print this one only. It prints the lower four bits. But I want to print 87. That means I need to first print 8, then 7. But if I print it using, if I, if I, if I have this in my DL, this 87, for example, I'm having DL... 87 in in the DL and I print I call the interrupt 21 H by moving into a H 0 2 H and interrupt 21 H I have in DL 87 right but it will print just seven it prints the it prints the right one the the, the first the LSB so this is my LSB 4 bits this is my MSB 4 bits so it's gonna print the LSB 4 bits so what what should I do so simple thing is I just first save whatever my number is, some other register. Say this was the memory location num1. This is the memory variable. It was there. 
I just copy it in some register, say AL. So it will be copied 100 and 0111. What I do with this is I first end with um, F and 0. If I end this with F and 0, this is called masking. What I am technically doing is F means all ones, okay? 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? And 0 means 0, 0, 0, 0 right in binary so if we add them together it will this this uh, if it, it's all ones the and will get whatever the number is it will get back zero one is zero zero one and zero zero one and zero only one one is one so we'll technically get back the original number that was eight it will we will get back back eight here right okay i'm getting eight here so you have to understand this thing what i'm saying so i got the eight here right now, I am adding it with the zero, that means this all becomes zero. When you add with zero, one, one digit is zero, so other is going to be zero. So this will be all zero. So I have masked this LSB right now. So LSB is masked, it's, it's all gone, and I have only eight left, right? But if I put this into the DL, it's going to print all zeros. It's going to print zero. So what I need to do is I need to rotate. I need to rotate this guy. One, two, three, four. I need to get it here. Okay. I need to get this one. One, two, three, four. I need to get it here. Right. I got a wrong pen actually. And for this one, I need to get it. One, two, three, four. I need to get it here. And this one again, four. One, two, three, and four. I need to get it here. That means if I move this one four times, one, two, three, four, it will come here. This zero four times, this will come here. This zero four times, it will come here. This zero four times, one, two, three, four, it comes here. It's not necessarily, it was eight, so it was all uh, zeros. Okay? Uh, if it is like one, 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 okay? It will. It can move still, you know, um, how many digits? Four digits. I have to move it four digits. Get this four digits. One, two, three, four. It will get here. So let it be, let, let the number is one, zero, zero, one. Okay. What will happen if I move this four digits? So I will move it one, two, three, four. So it comes here. This four digits. One, two, three, four. It comes here. Same, same this guy. One, two, three. 3 and 4, it comes here. And this one, 4 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, it comes here. So after it rotating 4 times, I will get MSB into the LSB. Now I'm telling DL will, DL, DL, uh, if, if I put this in a DL and call the move H 0 to H, that's going to print me the LSB. So that means, mera jo, uh, the LSB, hai, I can print it. That is my 8. So ye 8 print ho gaya. So what I did first, I copied this, whatever the number was, this was 87, into some register, mask it with F0, F0, so that MSB remains and LSB is all zeros now. After that, I rotate, I rotate four, four times, okay, uh, MSB, I rotate MSB four times, so they will go here, and then I give it to the DL and print it. So this is all what I need. After I printed the MSB, I need to print LSB. For LSB, I don't need to rotate. Okay, I just want to. I just want to print this. If I give this to the DL, it will print me seven. There was no problem with that, right? So this is the overall scenario of how to do this program. Now let us try to see the code. What do I have done here? You can read it properly. Dot model small. We know we got a one code and one data segment. One one segments are all. Then data segment stars. We got in a num one db 87 h we all already know all these things but for the uh, sake of teaching i'm just telling each and every step db we know it is an 8 bit data that means uh, we will have total 8 bits so 8 will be in my msb 4 bits and 7 will be in my lsb 4 bits right right so 8 will be in the MSB and 7 will be in the LSB for 4 bits. But if I, if I give this to the DL, I can print the 7, not the 8. Therefore, I need to store it in some other register, maybe AL, okay? Store 8, 7 there. 
and it with the F0. F0 will mask it to 0 and uh, keep it 8 as 8. Okay. Uh, it is 87, for example. If I end it and get it into register back, it will be 8 and 0. Okay. And then I rotate these four bits to get the 8 on the LSB side. Now I will have the situation like this. And I can give it to the DL. Okay. And print it. We all know th those procedures how to print. So it can print this. So once 8 is printed, now I need to print 7. For 7, I don't need to rotate. I don't need to do anything else. I can mask it with 0FH. Just mask it with 0FH. So that now I need to mask this one. So 0FH will make this 8 as 0. And 7 with the all ones of F, it will be 7. Okay, now we have data like this. Now give it to the DL and print it. So 87 will be printed. Right. Okay. Now we have the code segment. Then we started our main procedure. Okay. Main proc. Uh, then boilerplate code. We already know it to initialize the data segment register. Then I am putting the num1 in a register BL. So the number is now in the BL. And how many times I have to rotate, because I need to rotate four times, then I put that into the CL. CL means how many times I have to rotate, okay? Because I want to get the MSB into the LSB. So four times, so keep it here, the four. Now, I need to save this BL before I can, because I need to uh, do two operations on it. So I will save BL in the AL. Now, in the BL as well as AL, both have 87 in it. Because I'm ending and all doing anything with the AL and my original number which is in BL is stored. It's, it's, not, it's not touched. So what I'm doing here is I'm ending it with the F0H, okay? And we have to put up the zero up front when we do the AND, okay? Uh, because we are telling this by compiler that we are ending with the numeric value and not a register value or anything else. So this is a syntax that when you end with the numeric value and you just want to... Uh, get the result, just prefix the zero to it. This is necessary, right? So what will happen by adding your number, okay? The number, uh, when you add it with the AL, the, there is 87, when you do it F0, this will get masked to zero, and all ones with the eight, and all ones of F, when you add them together, it will get your eight back. So in the AL, there will be only the 80, 80 now okay now i got the 80 now what i need to do i need to move this 8 to the lsb 4 bits okay you can read this four times so i have the shift right shr means shift right okay you can shift right how many times you will shift right al because in the al is 80 how many times you will shift cl times because in cl we got four here so four times you will shift right so it will shift four times to the right. Then you call just print DL. So what print DL will do is it will print you uh, the LSB of AL. So that means it has to move AL into the DL and then SK adjust and all. So that's here, print DL procedure. That's after the end main, main and P. I have put up the print DL procedure. And then here, add AL first to 30H, we know ASCII adjust because we have to, it is in hexadecimal, so we need to convert it and print it because input and output, these are the ASCII's, so we need to convert it into ASCII. Then move into DL, comma AL, okay? Then whatever the AL is, put that into the DL, so AL has nothing but 80 plus 30H for ASCII adjust now. Now you move AL to the DL and just print it with a 0 to H, it will get printed, so 8 will get printed now. So we, our 8 got printed in AL. Now we need to print 7. So we, we our our AL is messy now because it's it's 80 only. So our number still is in a BL, which is 87. So after we did shift and we printed the 80, 80 now what will happen here? Uh, 8 will get printed, okay? 8 will get printed. Now we want to print the LSB. So we again move uh, CL04H, we put into the CL404H, okay, four, okay. That's the number of rotations. 
Uh, then we put that BL again into the AL. Now BL is having still 87, which was uh, we saved there in the BL. Now that is moved into the AL. And now this time we end with 0F. Okay, this 0 is for the syntax. This H is for the hexadecimal. And this 0F is the number which you are ending with. That means now, uh, if we have the 87, if we had in the, firstly in the BL, we have the 87. Now we have, we have moved that into the AL. That is 87. And with this, I am doing 0F. Now F is on this side and 0 is on this side. That means this will get masked to 0 and we will remain with the 7 only. So our AL has now 7 in it, right? It has only the 7 in it. So I can print it, there's no problem. So just give it to the DL and print it. So that's why I'm calling the print DL. What print DL will do is simply put add to the AL 30H and move that to the move that to the DL register and rest we know uh, the 0 to H will do the job, right? Add AL 30H, ask AL just put that AL into the DL and call uh, interrupt 21H with H having 0 to H means to print it print that what is in the DL register and it will print us the second LSB number. So both numbers will get printed and after that we just call exit, right? That we just want to finish the program, close your main procedure, that's it. And these are your below your two procedures, that is uh, the print DL procedure and exit procedure which is nothing but move H4CH, we know that already, okay? That terminates the program. So if we give it a go, that's coming on my other screen. Let me get it here. Just run it simply. And we got the output 87. We got the two-digit number display. Now we have done uh, the two-digit. Digit. I will not send this code. Rather, you will see the video and try to write your code yourself. Because if I send the code, you will just copy-paste and you will not learn. Because by writing, you will learn. So plug in all these, um, there's, there's nothing else in it. This not. It's not a tough, it's, it looks like in a first time, little bit it's just simply um, rotating four times and masking and rotating four times because we have to understand this one information that your number is when you print it or you input you can get a single digit only so if you are in a multiple digits you either need you know if sometimes you need to have 10 digits then we may use loop to get these 10 digits because we can get one time one digit only this is uh, the important information you need to keep in mind. So your input or your output means print. You can print only one digit. So if you want to print two two times, then you have to do something. Okay, uh, right? So next time we will get these two inputs from the user because if we get a two input from the user, now um, when you get a two digits number from the user, it becomes like you get the, say for example, you want to get 87 from the user now. Now, if you get the first 7, okay, then you get the 8, but it doesn't make an 87 because it, this is 87, not 8 and 7, right? So that means you have to multiply this, this MSB with 80, with the 10 to make it 80, then plus the 7 to it to make it 87. So this is the procedure overall, how to get input that we will see in the next program. Uh, so inshallah ta'ala, you just uh, watch it properly. And if you're working with me and just doing the code, you will be really good because each and every day we are going to do some program. And if you are working properly, uh, I have a, you know, really, I'm, 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 uh, I can assure you that you will be good in your assembly. Okay, see you next time. Uh, before saying that, do pray for my father and my family. Uh, do remember me in your precious supplications positively. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.